Hello everyone, today is our final day at the Atrium Club in the Contemporary. We are changing hotels over to Saratoga Springs today, but I wanted to show off what they have for breakfast today. As always, they have the avocado toast and the salmon, and they also have hard boiled eggs, honey yogurt, and fruit cups. They've also got these cuddled eggs with maple bacon, which I really like the egg part on top with the little bread, but I wasn't a big fan of the rest of it when I had it. They also have ricotta filled crepes, which are good with some sort of dip. They also have breakfast ham with a red eye glaze and stewed apples. And as always, they have the little pastry and bagel bar. They also have steel cut oats. So my favorite, as always, is the avocado toast. I also got the cuddled eggs and the honey yogurt, as well as mimosas. They also have a little cereal bar with Fruit Loops, Frosted Flakes, I believe, and Raisin Bran. And then they have some juices, they have orange juice and cranberry juice. <laughs> all right, so my bags are all packed for Saratoga and I decided to come outside to get one last view from this gorgeous balcony. You can see a lot in the park during the day. You can see Space and Tron. Back there, you can see The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Storybook Circus. Over here, you can see Astro Orbiter and Cinderella's Castle. Back there is Big Thunder, and you can see Splash as well. And then over here, you could kind of see Main Street and stuff. Overall, it's a great view, and I'm gonna miss it. So our room at Saratoga is not ready yet, so we are at Animal Kingdom to enjoy the day. So it looks like none of the puppets for the Christmas stuff is out, but yeah. <laughs> We are headed to our first stop, which is on Discovery Island to meet Mickey and Minnie in Adventurer's Outpost. That was fun. We just met Mickey and Minnie. They loved our Pandora shirts. We wanted to know all about our adventures out of this world. And we told them we're about to go on a safari, but, and we'll keep our eyes out for some mice. I don't know if we'll have that though. I'm now gonna get something to eat at the Harambe Fruit Market. I'm going between a Mickey pretzel with cheese or a hot dog. I just kind of don't want potato chips. Yeah. So I ended up going with Mickey pretzel with cheese because I didn't feel like getting chips with my hot dog. And I feel like this place always has really good pretzel with cheese. So why not? It is now time for us to go on the safari. Best part of the day. Up over here are females. We territorial animals out here in Africa and will oftentimes poke their eyes and ears above the surface to see and hear what's going on. Crocodiles off to our left. Now, Nile crocodiles are the second largest crocodile in the world, second only to the saltwater crocs. They're going to grow to be about 15 to 20 feet long. That's the dogs are brothers from the same litter. They are gonna to work together to be one of the most successful hunters out here on the savannah, I mean, as well as to take votes when it comes to hunting. Wow. Now, not all votes are equal, that alpha male and alpha female, if there are any females in the group. Little antelope around here, and they're gonna use those long curved horns, including lions. They'll choose fight over flight every time. Now, the zebra, the Hartman Mountain zebra, and that one that's super messy, he is our only male. The other two are females. And you'll see her spots are really jagged and irregular. That's actually how we can tell these giraffe apart from others. The Maasai giraffe has a much more jagged edge to their spots and their spots go down to their hooves as well. Of course, a group of giraffes is called a tower. So here at Disney, if you were to spook them, they'd become a tower of terror. You can see them a little better around the corner. They're hiding right behind these rocks, of course. Now elephants' trunks have food that they'll eat. And they'll also fill up their trunk with water and then spray it into their mouth. Flamboyance of Greater Flamingo. 
Now, you'll notice on the edge here, we've got a couple flamingo with some still black or brown feathers. These greater flamingo are going to get their full pink coloring when they're about two years old. But right now, our adolescents here are only just over one, so they've got a little bit of growing to do. They get that pink coloring from the baited carotene and the brine shrimp that they eat. They're not born pink, of course. And since these greater flamingo are the largest of the flamingo species, it takes them the longest to get their pink coloring. We've got three baby white rhino around here. Our oldest is starting to look more like a full-grown one, I believe, that he's the one laying out down over next to the one standing up. And then, like I said, this one in the mud pit looks like our middle child. They'll roll around in the mud to help cool down their skin and protect it from sunburns, of course. Right upper lip is what these white rhino will use to graze in these savannas that they live in. <laughs> and that one right there that looks larger than the other baby is our oldest baby out here. A group of rhino is called a crash because their eyes are on the side of their head. So if they do charge, well, they've got to stop somehow. It almost always involves crashing into whatever's there. Though they are gentle giants, they're more like golden retrievers in suits of armor than here, and they are up and moving. We've also got a set of twins that live here, and all of our cheetah are actually sisters. You can call them the cheetah girls if you wanted. <laughs> now, in just three seconds, these three ladies are going to reach speeds of up to 55 miles an hour, 20 hours a day. So seeing these ladies awake is almost more rare than seeing them at all. Looks like our male is proving me right back there. Those females will do the hunting for the pride, while the male will stay back to protect their home and any cubs they may have. And of course, his mane is going to weigh up to 40 pounds and be used as a shield to protect his head and neck. And all three female ostrich on this reserve lay three in many different countries. And all of our goats over here are brothers. Just like brothers of any species, they're going to be found headbutting each other quite often to a certain dominance on each other. We are now on Pandora to do her favorite ride, Flight of Facets. some new Avatar merch in Wind Traders. That includes this headband, which is $45. This spirit jersey, which is $85 and it glows in the dark. Here's the back. There's also this shirt right here that glows in the dark. There's nothing on the back of this, however. This is 40. They've got this button up here for 60, which has some of the little things around Pandora. There's this glow in the dark bucket hat, which is $40. Carrie found some Banshee glow wings. How much are those? I couldn't find the price. Oh. Um, we don't know the price. <laughs> There's this bag with adjustable wings on it, and this is 95. This is a lounge fly. There are also these ornaments right here, which are both 23. There's a Banshee, and I believe this is called a Dire Horse. And I'm getting both of these because they're so cute and they kind of match my Disney tree. They also have this ornament for 27 with the Banshee inside. They've also got a lot of different plushes of the different creatures from the new Avatar Way of Water movie. This one is kind of cute. I want to see how much this is. This one is 23. And just look at his eyes. He's just so cute. Like, there's so much cuteness in his eyes. You just want to adopt them.
will say, if you want pictures with the Christmas puppets, definitely come earlier in the day, possibly during the morning, because right now it's about 3.30, 4 o'clock, and it is absolutely packed around there. Here's some of the tree right outside of the park, and it is so cute. We were planning on going on Expedition Everest, but we had a little change of plans because we have dinner at Ohana at 5.10, and we want to make sure we can get to the hotel first. We are now at Saratoga Springs, which is our second hotel of the day. We changed over from Contemporary over to Saratoga for the remainder of our stay, and this will be home for the next few nights. I did film a whole separate room tour vlog to give you a full in-depth tour of the place, but I will insert a couple of little clips right here just to give you an overview. We're gonna go into the living room and balcony and kitchen area. Looking in the living room, you have this couch right here which has a little ottoman over here and a coffee table. And this is a pull-down bed. Down below that is gonna be a counter and under that is going to be another pull-down bed. So this one just pulls down like this. And in here we've got Goofy riding a horse reading about Saratoga Springs. Here is a view from our patio. It's going to be the master bedroom and bathroom. We have all checked in and some of us have started to unpack a little bit. So it's a little messy, I apologize for that but here's the big master bedroom. And go into the second bedroom. Moving into the actual room, the bedroom is going to be down here and the bathroom over here. And then opposite the bathroom is going to be your big main closet. And here there are going to be two beds. And just like the master bedroom, there is a little hidden Mickey in the corner. We are now at the Polynesian Resort for dinner at Ohana. We are being forced to take a picture in front of the tree. I am the only one that got a leg because I am graduating. This is a loser. <laughs> we did a really good spot over here by the window. You can see the Grand Floridian, Seven Seas Lagoon, and the pool. And you can see the castle. We now have the bread. Ali is tearing into it. No breaks. And we have this salad with some citrus dressing. So we just got our appetizers, and it comes with pork dumplings and chicken wings for the honey glaze, as well as soba noodles and broccolini. And towels to wash your hands. Go, go people, go, 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 go. <laughs> I was also able to get a jungle juice mimosa. I was not sure if I would because I thought it was only available for breakfast, but it's here. Here come our first entree. So we have peel away shrimp and sirloin steak and we're waiting on the chicken. So the last entree is here. It is black and chicken. And then there's peanut sauce. The peanut sauce does not come with the meal. You have to ask for it. We now got our dessert, which is pineapple, uh, bread pudding, ice cream on top, and caramel sauce. And I got a special tea graduation dessert. We are at Epcot now and we're doing Ali's Allie first is time. I grow up because I <laughs> ate too much food, but it was worth it. It's her first time on Guardians, so we'll see how she does. And also, we just realized this is her first park at like Disney Park since the 50s started. I wasn't here when it started. No, it was last October. I am still processing this message, but I'm curious to know where Johnny is going. How do you feel you're about to ride Guardians for the first time? She's happy. Um, I'm just hoping I don't grow up at this point. Yeah. <laughs> For a wonderful first ride experience, we're delayed. What the f <laughs> <laughs> It is very long. We've been here for a few minutes now. <laughs> Welcome to the Guardians of the Galaxy. What are your thoughts? Woo! That was awesome. <laughs> it was awesome. First time on Ratatouille. <laughs> you tell them. All right, so I'm really scared to ride this one compared to Guardians. I heard it's really scary. Um, God bless. Good luck to everyone involved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Allie, what were your thoughts on Remy's? It was cute. That's it. 
said she likes Runaway Railway. Yeah. Wow. Nothing can compare. Yeah. We're now in the caramel store in Germany today. We're getting a couple of cookies and some other stuff. Do I need a water? No, I don't. Oh. So I got a snickerdoodle cookie with caramel on top. This looks absolutely amazing. This is very good. It is a very soft cookie and the caramel adds just a little bit of extra flavor that enhances it for sure. We're over in the Mexico pavilion right now and my mom just bought it all off. I'm in the creations fitting room to try some stuff on. Why is this huge? <laughs> And just like that, we are back at Saratoga to end our night. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out what we did today, including the Atrium Club of the Contemporary, Saratoga, Animal Kingdom for the holiday stuff, and seeing the Avatar stuff, as well as the Safari, and also Epcot for Ali's first ride on Guardians of Remy's. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.